I'm on the helicopter. Ow. Sending some missiles, some oil, and some production so that it can be on my own base. I'm Svetlana Rusev, I'm yes. from Bulgaria, mm. although I've been living for many years in France and then in Switzerland, but basically, yes, 100% ah, Bulgarian. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, so where are you here? We are in uh, Reutlingen, not Reutlingen. far from Stuttgart in Germany. Mm -hmm. So, why are you... Here. I'm playing three times the, the Brahms Violin Concerto. Three times? Yes, together with uh, my dear friend, fantastic conductor Pablo Gonzalez, mm. who is, I believe, famous to Korean audience because he has already conducted in, in Korea, and who is an amazing um, conductor and friend, and very happy to be with the Württembergische oh. Symphonic Orchestra here. Um. It's a very good question. Uh, I, of course, visit my country, Bulgaria. Bulgaria? I love being there. Oh. And I'm, uh, I happen to be, for a number of years now, the um, artist in residence of the National Orchestra, mm. which is like, um, the um, Sofia Philharmonic Orchestra. Ah. Um, yeah, I, I have my students, six students in Geneva, in Switzerland, mm. six students in Paris, mm. France, and I have some connections and very lucky to also perform and spend time in your country, in South oh. Korea. Yes, I mean, if we consider that I learned how to play the violin with my parents, mm -hmm. violinists, when I was little, uh, Bulgaria had a wonderful school, mm -hmm. very efficient and very good bass and so on. But then, of course, I learned more about music, when I moved to Paris, because as you say, um, the, the collisions, the meetings, the encounters mm -hmm. with people, with art, with architecture, with traditions, with mm -hmm. culture is quite different and very necessary. Mm -hmm. I, well, I do, if we are alone mm -hmm. and we f if we play for ourselves, mm -hmm. Um, it would be very pity because I think we this music which is written which has been written most of it a long time ago mm -hmm. It's it's universal. It's incredible and that's why it's it doesn't change every year And I think that music is meant to be uh, shared mm -hmm. When I, I'm particularly happy if I play in a small place in a small venue because this little box produces vibrations and resonance which we can hear through our skin through our bones and we can feel that resonance and I think without that, it's pointless if we're just, if we play for ourselves at home. So for me, I play for the others and I, I play to, um, to share my art and, and my feelings and my emotions and to bring people to, to my journey. Um, I want to talk about my lyrical announcement. And in my cover words, am I a musician? Because I am not a, a famous performer or a famous teacher and actually I don't have a stable digital library. So that's why I'm visiting the performers and asking them how to do it in order not to be swayed by my teachers. Um, but, and of course, every, every human being has doubts. There are periods where things are not, uh, not easy and like we're in darker mood and, and so on. And this is also connected to creativity. When I, when I say that our performance reflects our soul or our state, in mind, a state of mind, depending on what we've been doing, what we have been eating or sleeping or not sleeping or traveling. This, this is a very unique combination and it's a very good question because it's hard to, um, uh, to find a path or mm. says, oh, I'm going there because this is my life and this is what I want mm. to do and this, is what, and this is my position and my place. Always been felt surprised when someone says, no, I want to be only, only teacher, professor. I want to play an orchestra, or oh, I hate orchestra, I cannot teach, I hate kids, 
I only want to be a soloist. For me, it's everything goes together. Mm. Music is all of this. And it's if someone has never played in an orchestra, it's hard to um, to know what's happening and to 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 communicate. Mm. Teaching is also a um, um, very good way to keep the the contact with the next generation. It's a very good way of uh, learning things for ourselves by telling them uh, different repertoire, different groups. We get to make friends in music, uh, in life. So we have to, of course, we have to try different things and many things, but it's, um, it's quite hard and takes uh, many, many years to find that. Mm.